It was in January of 2019 that Chronic Law cemented uh, his place in Jamaica's music. Right and now the law boss comes to our stage with his own record label and line of merchandise. Start make money, don't yet me for mine. As reactions to the passing of reggae legend Toots Hibbert continues to pour in from around the world, in this edition of our show, we hear from Island Records founder Chris Blackwell, former manager Andrea Davis, one of his daughters, among others. What makes a former superintendent of police with two second degrees launch a music career in May of this year? He'll be here to answer that question for us. Top 10 trending songs in Jamaica, and there's so much more, all coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. Stage, so much more than entertainment. And we're back with our top 10 trending songs in Jamaica this week. The six is indeed real on our countdown this week with all of seven entries from the camp. Coming in at number 10, Squash with Change Climate. Change the climate, them fool them childish. We see his feces, flush them in a toilet. The number 8 spot is held by Bobby Six with Antisocial. Them if you know, say the badness, but just like volume down so we can lick up. At number 8, it's Daddy One with Double Up. Double up the car, double up the car. Loan in the sea and cranberry dude. And at number seven, it's Daddy One again featuring Loyal Goon with chips and bricks. Vibes Cartel and Squash moonwalk into the number six position. And starting off our top five, TJ and Aishana are a mood. Let you enjoy yourself, get you in the mood. The number four track on our countdown this week is Chronic Law with Self Protection. While Chronic Law and Daddy One are number three with Style Shot. Chanel Muir and Danique are messing with the same guy at number two. And number one this week on our trending countdown, Intense and Iwata, Creating Havoc. All right, so that's it. Our top 10 trending songs for this week. Stay with us right here on stage. Next, remembering the legendary Toots. And later, Chronic Law, an update you don't want to miss. But before that, the former superintendent of police brings answers to the question, why is he taking up? music at this time after earning all of two second degrees and owner of several businesses he'll be answering what is it about music 
that makes him want to start a career at this time. stage so much more than entertainment Toots Hibbert's career in Jamaica's music is about as long and relevant as the music itself for since getting the break via his vocal group the Matos in the early 60s Toots has never lost relevance in the music's mainstream. Toots and the Matos left the decade of the 1960s with a slew of timeless gems, including Bam Bam, which won the festival song competition in 1966. And perhaps his most indelible contribution to the reggae story, the track do the reggae in 69. Tootsie's do the reggae came just as the beat began to deviate from rock steady, which had been rocking the island since 66, to a new sound. The use of the word reggae in the song led many to credit Toots as the man that gave the new sound a name. That name, of course, is reggae. reggae, reggae. Toots continued his ascension in reggae throughout the next three decades, winning souls and accolades all over the world, including a Grammy for Best Reggae Album in 2005. And the order of distinction bestowed by the government of Jamaica for outstanding contribution to music. Frederick Toots Hibbert exited on Friday, September 11, 2020, after a short battle with COVID-19 at age 77. Here are some reactions from some who knew Toots the man. Toots the artist, best. So I actually first um, met Toots uh, when he was in the studio um, and he was being recorded by um, Leslie Holmes. The thing that amazed me was uh, his voice, the power of his voice. Um, he had an, he had an in, in, incredible range. In those early days, not everybody wrote their own songs. A, a good few artists did, <clears throat> but Toots, Toots from very early, you know, was really doing everything his way, and that that's really how he was. He was the leader of his band, and. He was, he was somebody who just knew where he wanted to go, knew what he wanted to do, and was always in charge of his, um, his life, pretty, pretty much always in charge of that. Uh, <clears throat> Toots was one of the people who traveled up a lot very early on in the 60s, <clears throat> and sort of was one of the people that led the interest in Jamaican music right from the very early days. I think his first song was uh, 5446, was my number. I think that was his first song, but certainly that was his first big hit. 
that I can remember. And 5446 was my number, was his number when he was in prison for smoking marijuana back in those days. You'd be put into prison for it. Now it's, it's okay, I guess. And um, he was in prison for some time. Uh, and um, when he came out, he recorded the song and the song became a big hit and he became somewhat of a, a hero really right away. <clears throat> and um, his career really just grew and grew. He just, he had the same band that I can remember, really the same band for 30, 40 years. Um, and he, 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 he just, he toured the world everywhere, pretty much everywhere, certainly in Europe, the Far East, Australia, uh, you know, um, Toots, Toots built a following and built an audience and, um, and was much loved by all the, all the people, people who would see his shows. They, you know, they, they, were, they were literally fanatics for Toots because he, had his, he just had his own way of performing and his own way of, of, uh, of, of doing a show, which was great. Well, <clears throat> 5446 was my number. In, in, a, in a way, was was will be a flashback to what it used to be like where people were in prison for, uh, for smoking some weed. Uh, after that, he had, uh, let's go through some of his songs. He had this song called Monkey Man, which was, really like a, 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 a sort of fun song of, 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 um, of one which he used to dance to a lot, which is one of his most popular songs for a long time. And then he came with one which has been redone in many ways over the years with different people, and that's Bam Bam. Bam Bam is, again, just a, a, a great song. You know, it's just classic. Classic Toots. Uh, let me think. Six and Seven Books of Moses. That was great. They had a whole relig religious connotation to it. It was, it was absolutely great. Six and Seven Books of Moses was one of his biggest songs. Sweet and Dandy. Mm -hmm. Sweet and Dandy, absolutely. And then, and of course, Pressure Drop. Pressure Drop was uh, very popular with the English rock and rollers. Uh, uh, Robert Palmer, one of the artists on Island Records, he did his own version of Pressure Drop. In fact, he, he recorded it twice. And uh, other people covered it too, because it was, it was just a great story. That's, you know, when pressure drop, pressure drop on you. It's a, it's a little like this uh, uh, virus thing we're going through. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> So that was one of Tootsie's Funky Kingston. Frank Kingston was actually, I'm going to claim that as my idea because I was supposed to release a record called Funky Nassau and um, it was being sent to me to release in England, but it never got to me. And, um, and, the, and the song became a huge hit in America. And I was really, really upset that, um, that, I, that I hadn't got the song and, and released it because, you know, it was, it was just a hit record. So I think I was just about to do some recordings with Toots, and I said, well, listen, we've got to do Funky Kingston. We've got to do a Jamaican record, Funky Kingston. <laughs> and Toots just wrote it and sang it, and boom, you know, a couple of hours later, that was all done, you know, just instant. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what, what you can say about Toots, you know, except that he's going to be incredibly m m missed. And I think he was absolutely loved by everybody. I've been to so many shows around the world uh, where Toots have been performing. And people just loved him, really, really loved him. And he loved his music and, and he loved Jamaica. And, you know, he's, so, he's a big loss, very sad, very, very sad. He could, his career could actually explode now because he never, he never caught on big in anything as, let's say, Bob did or even Third World in a way. 
did of, of, of get, getting into a wider audience. But with these songs now, out now and, and the quality of them all and the story of, of, of him, you know, 60 odd years, you know, recording, I really feel that, that he'll be supported by radio, supported by the press. And I think um, uh, consumers will really discover his music. I'm Karen Smith, and this is my husband, Jackie Jackson, who toured with Toots in the Metals Band all over the world for 40 plus years played on the recordings and Winford you asked us for an intimate reflection of Toots the entertainer and Toots the man. So Jackie, what do you think is one of your most memorable moments when you think about Toots, whether as an entertainer or as a person? For me the most memorable was our first tour, 1975, opening for Linda Ronstadt and the Eagles in Anaheim, Anaheim Stadium, 90,000 people. Wow, Ooh, that's a lot of people. 90,000 people. That's a lot of people. We guys, the band, we, we were nervous wrecks. You know, and when the MC said, ladies and gentlemen, touch on the matters, and we walked out, we were still nervous. And we picked up our instruments and started the introduction for Pressure drop. Oh, you remember which song? <laughs> yes, of course, it's the first time. That's you amazing. Know, you can't forget the first time. But it's a lot of years. Well, yeah. yes, you can't forget the first yeah. time. True. And <laughs> Toots walked out. He, as a matter of fact, he didn't even walk out. He ran out, jumping, prancing. Wow. Ready to go. He's ready on the go. And on his way to the microphone, he paused by us guys and says, We are going to be great. Ah. <laughs> and the great it was. So confidence and Ooh. swag from Ooh. from back in the day. Yeah, that that is really something. We crushed it. <laughs> the confidence. So for for me, I remember when Courtney, our daughter, and I were on tour with you in two thousand and three, and the concert was reggae on the river outside, and um, outside. So Courtney was at the front of the stage doing the the performance, dancing at the front of the stage, on the floor, the stage is high. And I remember when he was introducing the band, this is when everybody's leaving, we, we concert finished now and he's introducing the band and he said, ladies and gentlemen, this is my bass player's daughter, Courtney Jackson, can we hear it for Courtney? And the audience went, yeah, Courtney. <laughs> what a moment that was and, and um, we have never forgotten. And I also want to ask you, about him if he's approachable. He was the most approachable person ever. Wow. With wow. no ears and no graces. Mm -hmm. I want to say as the president of the Jamaica Federation and, and the Jamaica Federation of Musicians and Affiliates Union, what a loss it is for us. We keep saying larger than life and there's only going to be one tooth so we're not going to see another we're not going to see another entertainer like that and because of COVID-19 we won't be able to send him off in a manner befitting such a wonderful artist but I want to say rest in peace legend all the best to you God bless you thank you for the music and the saga continues Definitely one of the most important artists in Jamaican music. In fact, he is regarded as one of the best vocalists in music anywhere. He has been a part of the foundation for ska, rock steady, and of course, reggae music. music. When Bob Marley gave the world one love, Toots gave the world true love. And it is that spirit of true love that continues to make him one of the most important artists of our time. He has millions of fans around the world who will miss him, but they will take comfort knowing that his music will never die. And he will continue to be an important part of music for generations to come. I'd like to send my condolences to his family, his wife, his children, his grandchildren, and also his musical family. The musicians, 
the team, the engineers, the managers, and those who have worked with Toots over the many years to enhance a career that is undoubtedly one of the most important of our time. Dad was a fun-loving dad. I can remember many times as children when he would get home and then he would say, on already? <laughs> and that meant everybody gonna take their place around that domino table. Many times we would, that would just take us all to the country. And when we got there with, and we see Auntie, Auntie Bernie, Uncle William, Uncle Farga, we saw all our cousins. And we just enjoyed those times. And Daddy did it ever so often. I remember many times he would also take us to the beach. We loved going to the beach with our dad. But there was this time when I was on tour with dad, I, I just was not paying attention and so the bus left me. Mm -hmm. The bus left me. And dad was sleeping, but he just woke up and then he just said to them, I don't feel Gigi on the bus, you know. And they were like, no, Naya, she's on the bus. And he said, go and look. And when they did, sure enough, I was not on the bus. <laughs> and I, everybody was like, Naya, how you knew, how you knew? But that was the type of person that he was. He was very discerning. If there was anything going on with any one of us, Daddy knew. He was that in tune with us. And we miss him terribly. And we just want to carry on this legacy, carry on what he has started. And so we just want to thank you for just sharing in our time of loss, sharing the kind of father he was. He was an awesome dad. Thank you. The legendary Tootsie Bird, out at 77, but shall be forever young in our memories. Stay with us right here on stage, still to come. Chronic law. But first, why would a former superintendent of police with all of two second degrees start a career in music at this time? He'll be here to answer and to exhibit his music. You don't want to miss that. All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be back. Stage, so much more than entertainment. A question we have in this segment is what makes a former superintendent of police with the two second degrees launch a career in music at this time? Well, he's here to answer that question for us. He goes by the name Wes Rock, right now, right here on our stage. <laughs> Wes, sir. Blessings, blessings. Wes Rock, welcome, sir. I appreciate it. So you, you take that question right away for us before we even go any further. Well, you know, Wes Rock basically is a 
person who grew up from a humble beginning. Yes. In that little town called Bogwalk. Yeah. That's one of the big up all the people in that area. Mm -hmm. um, I, have, I had two passions in life then. One was music and one was to pursue education. Oh. Um, to escape rural poverty, they mm -hmm. call it. I had to enlist the Jamaica Constabulary Force. And um, I came to Kingston and started to pursue my educational um, uh, dreams. Yes. So I, after got enlisted, I pushed myself through school, um, went to university, and um, I got two master's degree, an MBA, and a master's in security. And I also have a first degree in accounts mm -hmm. and management. Yes. And um, I was successful in the constabulary force, but I realized that being a police was never ever going to be what I always want to be in life. Mm -hmm. So it was a great stepping stone for me. And having spent almost 27 years in one organization, I wanted to leap into <laughs> other areas. And wow. when COVID came, I decided that I'm going to pursue my second passion, which was music. Mm -hmm. I always had this um, dream of pursuing a music career. And so back then, I used to listen to Kenny Rogers, Marty Robin. Yes. Because their, st their songs actually um, speak to my life story. Um, a humble beginning, um, someone trying to reach somewhere in life. Mm -hmm. And now I have basically accomplished myself. So what role did music play in your growth, in your move from Bagwalk as a kid? Yes. And through school and all of that? Was music always present in your life? Music has always been there from ever since. As I indicated to you, it was my, is one of my second passion so I had then. So you're actually playing music? I was playing my guitar. The, the people at Bogwalk, my peers, would recall me as that little boy with that banjo. Yes. type of guitar and big art in the, the district and playing my song. Mm -hmm. and that's why I sing the song Poor Country Boy. So you had been recording say, th that time during the, as a kid growing no, up? I Were you thinking about a career or no? Just I, the passion it, for it and expressing I had it. The, I had that passion then, but nobody knew what life was going to turn out but to not, be. But not a career? Not a career. Okay. I just had a passion then. And so now you realize that you could be a recording artist and, and therefore decided to pursue it, right? You are correct. But isn't it a very odd time to do that during well, the, the, the pandemic here? It's certainly not. Mm -hmm. Because once you have a passion mm -hmm. and you have reached a certain comfort zone in life and you can exercise it and you get that response from the public in general, it motivates you. Yes. Because there is no timeline when it comes down to music. Yes. I could say that I'm now mature. I have a better vocal than I had then. And uh, my life story has reached to a peak where I have uh, uh, so many things to sing about, so many things to talk about. And I've reached to that point now where I want to give back to society. I want to use my life experience to develop a better rapport with the people out there who are going through you know, whatever crisis that they are. Mm -hmm. My music is about reassuring them and inspiring them to move to another level. All right, so let's take your song and see how much you're inspiring all of yours right now. Looking back in my life, there are so many things to say. Friends have passed, they've gone by. Still I'm here today Been through many rough times God knows how I survive Friends have betrayed me But I never lost my mind Give thanks for today Tomorrow is never sure Yesterday is past and gone There is so much more Shine your light for others Keep it burning through the day Love you, share with others Will come your way someday A mother's always praying 
God will find a way So I keep these words in my heart And I never lose my way Son, hold your head high Never lose sight of the prize Remember those who help you No matter what's their signs Give thanks for today Tomorrow is never sure Yesterday's past and gone There is so much more Shine your light for others Keep it burning through the day Love you, share with others But come your way someday Although I know you'll pass on And leave this world behind Your candle will be burning And memories will live on So live your life the best you can Doing right and never wrong For the love you share with others Will come your way someday Give thanks for today Tomorrow is never sure Yesterday's past and gone There is so much more Shine your light for others Keep it burning through the day For the love you share with others Will come your way someday Give thanks for today Tomorrow is never sure Yesterday's past and gone There is so much more Shine your light for others Keep it burning through the day Love you, share with others Will come your way someday Give thanks for today All right, <laughs> West Rock, looking back. Wow, that's, that's what I would call Jamaican country. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. That's a, it's a nice song, you know, it's a feel good kind of vibe. And that is the extent of Jamaica's diversity in, in consumption of music, in our taste for music. Because many Jamaicans will like this song. And, yes. and people are, especially people in Main Street, overseas, when overseas. you say Jamaicans love country, country music, <laughs> Jamaicans love country. Yeah, from a long yeah. time. Country is a big thing in Jamaica. In Jamaica, right. And uh, so I, I suspect that you're getting a lot of love for this little record. Uh, lots of love. And um, yes, I like yeah. the little church in there. Yes, <laughs> yes, on this the hillside. This reminds you of, of Back, Jamaica, the know. good old days in Jamaica, you know. So, so really and truly, yeah. the song entitled Looking Back, yeah. You know, he's looking back in my life. In your own personal life. In my own personal life. Yes. This is what it's about. Using my life as an example to inspire people. There are many people who are going through a lot of difficult times, especially now, mm -hmm. you know, and just need some inspiration. You know, just keep pressing on, don't stop. You know, look to the sky and keep, you know, motivating yourself. So this is just one record now, or is it part of a bigger... Project. Well, well uh, this is album maybe yes, well, yes. this yeah. this is my first debut single mm -hmm. and um, it is uh, just one of the many songs that is on an album that is scheduled to be released in November okay so the the album is called um, looking back well you know Wes we're going to be watching you sir because <laughs> you're a very interesting story you're a yes. very interesting story in our music because it's just May. In May you launched your in career. May. Yes. And you've, you are going to be doing an album before the year is out. Before right? the year is out. You're releasing an album. That's, that's not the typical way this is done, you know. So, yeah, we've been looking for that and to see how you progress from here. Because your sound is unique. Not that it's strange, but it's unique because... It's country with a Jamaican reggae, reggae flavor. Yes, it's country reggae. Yes, country reggae, right. And it's, it's interesting, man. And I understand you're, you have your own label and production company. Yes, 360 Global Entertainment is, yes. is a company that we have launched um, in May. 
the same time when you launched your career? Yes, the same time we launched wow. it. Um, and the aim of this company is really to help to promote my passion mm. for the music and to help to develop artists. And um, I started, I, I, I used myself as a guinea pig, okay. so to speak, to um, be one of the first artists for the 360 Global. Okay. But we have been engaged in a number of other things in terms of um, streaming. Mm -hmm. Our company had actually streamed um, that um, show with Capleton. Okay. It was one of the first of its kind here. Oh, we started cool. that yeah, yeah. Um, show here. So it, it has been a success, but as you know, COVID has really dampened the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But we are going to be re-energized in a short while and get others on board. We have a team in place already. And to reach you, where, where, where do people find you? What are your addresses, your it's social a, media? It's uh, 360 global, global underscore 876. Mm -hmm. And um, you can get through to me at West Rock Music yes. and all platforms. OK. All right, so I'm sure people will be reaching out to you, sir, because if sure. you're producing too and you have a label and so on, you know, it's, you have money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is that we're not really in, in it for the money so per se, because as I said, I am an accomplished businessman already. Mm -hmm. um, we operate uh, more than four companies. Mm -hmm. um, and so, as I said, we want to give back to society. Not many people, who have had this past really look back to give back. Yes, yes. And so I decided that I really want to spend the last semester of my life to try and give back. And I have a talent, so I want to exercise this talent to give back an inspiration to the younger folks who are at that stage of their life where they need some inspiration to push to the top. That is absolutely great, my friend. So many of us would love to do it the way yes. you're doing it. The way I mean, people with passion for music could 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 give back through music. Through music, but never got to your level of success. <laughs> so, congrats to you. Great blessings. So we're gonna we're gonna leave the rest for later. As yes. you, you play too, right? You play the guitar. I help myself. Right. And one of these days, you could probably come and, and vibe to tune for, for for us right here. I'm sure, yeah? it will be a pleasure. We hope you all love the record and will support it. Thank you so much. Great. All right. Well, there you have him in this segment, Wes Rock. Stay with us right here on stage, still to come. You can't stay so, put in work, dog, if you want famous. You Chronic Law. You want the hero, struggle to be in every success. So much more than entertainment. It was in January 2019 that Chronic Law cemented his place in Jamaica's music with this track. Now the law boss comes back to our stage with his own record label. And line of merchandise. Start make money, don't hit me for mine. Right now, right here on our stage. Chronic Law. Sir, welcome. Yes, man. Blessed, man, blessed, man. Good to have you back. Time. Yes, man. And I should congratulate you on all your achievements, sir. Thanks, man. In such a short time. Yeah. Less than two years, isn't it? Yeah. 
Hard work said we can win it for more than two years. Said we just appear off. Okay, so the uh -huh. breakout came less than two years ago. Yeah. But you you had been working hard, hard than very, seen very before. Hard. Yes, man. Some of what we're we're seeing now, some of the success that you're reaping now, were some of the seeds planted before you yeah. got the break, right? Yes, man. Cause even inside now. <laughs> we do inside like four years before it start get the real recognition. Yeah. So at the hard work up here I've said we Let's start with your line of merchandise. Yeah, one la uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. That's it you're wearing there. Yes man. Pull over all different style, polo style. Okay. Yeah. So it's out and out and about already, people? No, you know, out and about it no It's about was, to be launched. Yeah. Okay. I, enough time will start and finish till one night time I just me and wear it. As my personal thing, you know. Uh -huh. But fans them always in idea I say, yo. You know? So that's we'll pay for it. it. They're yeah, saying we'll... that. <laughs> we'll so pay to have right. it. We're gonna go official, you know. Ah. Yeah. Cool. So so it's in demand already. And the the label, talk about the label. Yeah. One. Because that's big can... for a young artist. Yeah, cause here one out too. Me, you know, I feel like I reach on a level where I can help more youths like me to see how Yes. Yeah, so one la uh, entertainment, one la uh, records. We well, pray for just get some artists out there see how Yeah. Right now, still, Shockstar of Seafood. Yeah, listen to them. The one la uh, artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So you're recording in St. Thomas? Yeah, man. Studio at yeah, all? Man. Official studio, man. Both it. Yes? Yes, man. Who are the people in the, uh, working with you in, in this label? My family, man. Yes? Yeah, man. No, All the family? family? Yeah, man. We don't go outside the family. Yeah, man. I'm family meaning blood? Said, you know, blood? A blood, man. A blood, I call them. I don't believe in nothing else. Blood, <laughs> them name. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> not, not necessarily biological blood, <laughs> yeah. but blood. <laughs> I blood them, man. So it's up and running, and you're actually recording and managing. You're also booking as well. The, it's a full house kind of label. You're doing everything. Uh, uh, my manager. Mm. Yeah, Bashi Kalik in the bird. Yeah, him same way. Yes. So, yeah, man. Oh, so yeah. you, you have your executive team? Yeah, man. All right, so how many... How many artists in the camp so far? So far we have Shark Star of Seafood, Fire Dopes. More whole heap, whole heap of them and we two and left all new, nobody. All new, all new artists that yeah, people don't know yet. Yeah, but them are buzz. People know them, man. Them out already? Them are buzz, man. Them buzzing right yeah, now? Yeah, them are buzz. Them soon get a big break. Okay. Them might have a buzz and then... Ah. Yeah. Ah, wicked. I want to roll back a little bit to the merchandise and to tell us what are some of the items, the lines that you're carrying. I know you're carrying shirts, right? Yeah. What else is in the mer merchandise? Just mostly like, shirts, man. Most, the yeah, shirts for now? Shirts, pullover, yeah. All different type of shirts, but soon go out. Probably all sneakers, too. At this okay. time. All right. Yeah, so, but for now, I just shirts. Now, self-protection is a song that's out there now, right? Yeah, dropped up production. Getting some love. Good love? Good, good love, oh. man. Mm -hmm. Big love or just regular? Big love. Big love. Yeah. Okay, so what is the, explain that song for me, the title in particular, self-protection. Uh, first thing first, man, I don't tell nobody if you get an illegal firearm for themselves. Mm -hmm. Self-protection, no. I will leave a fight out there in a real life, you know. Yes. Yeah, so if I have legal firearm can get though. Mm -hmm. Say, if you can get one, get one. Yeah, because yes. it's necessary some of the time. Because mm -hmm. I remember, you know, some of the time people just see you with your things and want it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the wickedest thing is when friends become enemy too. So I will leave a thing out there to protect yourself. Yeah. So it's now, you know, a question I want to, I want to ask you about how difficult is it for you to be? No, we're not talking about a song now. We're talking yeah. about you. Yeah. As a young artist, a young recording artist with success, aren't you challenged about your security and to navigate life right now? Is it not difficult for you to... to are you really enjoying life, um, yeah, man. Chronic Law? Yeah, man, a full joy life, man. Yes, with what you're, you're just saying there. Yeah, well, because we are full it, drive, see, car watch and off. Yes. With, with or without money, people are going to fight you. Yeah. Yes. So fight are just natural thing. We have to just walk my road. 
Mm -hmm. Here the obstacles, them fight the fight. Enjoy life while it lasts. We all live and we enjoy life. And enjoy life. Full joy life. Yes. Mm. In spite of all the danger, that, that's lurking. Danger they're everywhere because you can inside your house and somebody come in the community. Yes. So, so just live. I just, yeah, I'm not afraid about certain things. So, but we know so we have to protect ourselves at all <laughs> times. So yeah. have you abandoned the, the, the hillside? concept, the no. whole idea, the whole notion of going on the inside to talk to frogs and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you? What are you doing? Are you not sure that? No, we're still up on the hillside, man. It's still going on the hillside. Yeah. Free up for meds, man. Go, 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 meds, man. Center yeah. ourselves. Yeah, because you're going to need that. Yes. Yeah, man. Well, I hope so, my friend, because ultimately life is just for living. We only have one to live. We can't yeah. create life. That's how and, we can't make no and mistake. And you should think twice about even taking one's life who is even messing with you. So, so we don't want Jamaicans to be going out there as vig vigilantes <laughs> and saying, why anything we don't, we don't tell nobody, say, yo, yeah. go shoot nobody if I'm going to step on your toe or away. Because enough time will go out and things up. I mean, I hurt nobody. Yes. Yes, it. But we know you have peaceful youth. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if you don't... If you don't take on, if you don't believe inside, that classic, because I, I challenge you to, to come better than that. Yeah. You're going through and can match that. <laughs> See, so what I'm saying is, you, you must take something from that song there yourself. That song there, Hillside, Reggie. Got that song, uh, as a youngster saying that, it, yeah. it shows that you value life. You understand life. Because sure. sometimes I hear some man, some man even sound like them understand that Life is, is precious. Yeah, man. You know so you have I mean? to protect it. Yeah. So when you say it's <laughs> up in the bush, I'm going to hold my heads and chat to some frogs and some oh. something in the bush, <laughs> whatever yeah, up man. there. Um, some lizards and some toad. Yeah, we up there with frogs and lizards and everything, and, and them it, still come to. It's completely um, resonating, that yeah. song. So, Chronic Law, you're challenged to stay there, sir. Use it, to, use it when the match of you. Just go up there, same way. Don't give up that. Yes, man. You know, don't give up that, my bed drink. You're going to get more struggle, too, you know. The more success you reap, yeah. is the more you will see people rise against you for nothing Fear. sometimes. Just jealousy Fox. and thing. That happens. Oh. All right, so, so that's, that's that. So we have a track, a new track, too. The video is not even out yet. Yeah. Chewed up at the moment. Talk about it before so. you give up. You give can't up. stay someone, because as I tell you before, you have some people see you with your things and hate you for nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I tell you, say, you can't stay so. Put in work if you want, famous. Okay. That's what I say. Yeah, because it's out there for everybody who wants to believe in it, you can't achieve it. Yeah. Well, there you go. So mm -hmm. you're answering again the positivity, <laughs> believe, focus, discipline. Let's yeah. make it right here. See if you don't like what we preach, so yeah, you go get rid for Nico Black Shreebo. Judas, me not pre, you go and go pre your life, for your life, leave you. Work hard, never bad mind, nobody but no dog. Hustle for your own, you will get your chance. Greatness, the point, everybody like bird mark. All right. You can't stay so, put in word, dog. If you want famous, you want fat girl, you want the house. Some you is a life, it's a chance, make a change now. All right. You can't stay so, put in word, dog. If you want famous, you want fat girl, you want the house. Struggle they behind every success you hear about. Yo, no pain, no tears. I know when the house go upstairs. Man used to know no bus fear. You the journey and no cupcake, nothing sweet, no a couple G for me dog play. You mean that that happen when you all fear? Make your mother happy like a man, my boss a gun case. No, no, we no reach first place for the first years. But we never stop try still when trouble come, friends go away quicker than lightning. But I still hold my own. Yeah, me there, so I talk to myself like me no writing. Who come from? We no see loyalty like light bill. Crab in a barrel, always see a family fighting. The youths, them stop play up, scotch on sightings. Friends start to friend with things and I like him. Do the right thing. Don't bad mind your dog for him, clocks are Vikings. No begs to the girl, you won't like him. Just start bringing news for start spite him off. That's why me no keep friends. That's why me no lose. Don't see this day in a day. When them see you ain't something new Yo, you can't stay so Put in word, dog If 
life, you want famous, you want fat girl, you want dear house. Some you is a life, is a chance, make a change now, alright. You can't stay so, put in work, dog. If you want famous, you want fat girl, you want dear house. Struggle they behind every success that you want, yo. Yeah. Uh, that's it. So, uh, that's it. Uh, in a sense, um, in that one, you're answering some of what we were discussing. Right? Very good. About things, but... Um, it makes sense, man. Yes. Because we can't hide from reality, you know. But violence... We never say violence is the violence. solution. Okay. Let's, never. Let's hope it's not, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll never say that. The violence is still present. But, um, <laughs> but, but we, still, we still understand you, and your message is more powerful, and I hope you would who watch and listen, because we can't stop them from going online, even oh. if we don't show these things and, and see the fullness of what you're saying and the visuals as well. Yeah. And they don't take from it the negative, the self-destructing negative, them take the positive out of what you're saying. Because yeah. you're saying they ha they, it's in them to be who they want to be. Straight. Those are my words. But yeah, the, it's in them. It's always in them. Yeah, man, it's in everybody. It's me until it's a greatness you, for everybody like Bert, man, man. Yeah, because you believe yeah. that and you, that's why you're sitting here. So you must share that with them who listen to you now. Straight. Because now they look to you for inspiration and guidance. Yeah, that's true. Whether you're ready or not. Okay, so six. What's going on with six? The family up and running the same way, you know, unstoppable and now going away, you know, still strong in our music. Still have the unity, same way. Mm -hmm. I was still up with out enough work, see him here. So you're releasing records, but where's the squash? He's overseas, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Offshore. Um, that one, yeah, we see, we, we heard. Yeah, we release, so, we release a, yeah. a, a video with, with me and that one too. Yeah? Yeah. Under your label? No, under squash label. Yeah, so six is still real? Still real, man. And out and about. Yeah, in COVID, <laughs> but say. Yeah, man. Well. All right, sir. We wish you well, Law. Yes, sir. And, um, and we hope you're, you're biding. <laughs> <laughs> By not your law, credit law. But the, the law of the land of Jamaica, yeah? Yes, man. Yeah, man. So, but, you know, so well, look out for you. I want to hear from you. I want you to continue to be positive. Always, man. And to mature in your own space, in your own time. To what is right and good, but we are, we are always going to commend a youth like you because that's you, you, the song that brought you to our consciousness is a is a classic, instant classic in Jamaica's music. No matter what you do or say, that song is, stands out and speak volume. Fox. So it shall forever be a, cl a classic record which so many looking for and never got. True. And you as a youngster find it. That should make you special, walk special, and believe in the right way. That alone, Bridging. <laughs> no, I appreciate you, but I'm tempted. <laughs> anyway, much love, Bridging. And yes, man. Walk good, law. All the, the time, best. man. All right. Yeah. So, there you have him right here in this segment of our show, Chronic Law. And that brings us to the end of our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. But we never stop trying still when trouble come, friends go away quicker than lightning. But I still hold my own. Yeah, me there, so I talk to myself like me no writing. Where come from? We no see loyalty like light bill. Crabbing a barrel, all we see a family fighting. The youths, them stop play up, scotch on sightings. Friends start to friend with things and I like him. Do the right thing. Don't bad mind your dog for him, clocks are Vikings. No begs to the girl, you won't like him. You start bring news for start spite him up. That's why me no keep friend. That's why me no lose. Don't say this day, I don't want nothing and vex when them see you ain't something new. Yo, you can't stay so. Put in word, dog. If you want famous, you want fat girl, you want dear house. Some you is alive, it's a chance, make a change now, alright. So put in work, dog. If you want famous, you want fat girl, you want dear house. Struggle they behind every success that you about, yo. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.